What is up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Christopher Sliman, coming back at you again with another new video this week. But before we get started, I actually have something very exciting I want to announce. I am officially going to be competing in Christian Guzman's Summer Shredding Classic. It's the online competition. I'm going to have a description in the bio about how to get there and how to compete. It's $15 to sign up. And if uh, if you do it and you do great, then you can win $2,000. So I'm going to be in it. You guys are going to be seeing in a future uh, video, <clears throat> my before video, which then I'll much later on, closer to July at the end of the competition, be filming my after video. So I hope to be uh, coming in. I hope to get some money because I'm shredding anyways. And I am just so excited to show you guys what's to come. Uh, without further ado, I want you guys to sit back, relax, and learn something with the rest of my video. As always, if you like me, if you support me, then smash that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe if you're new here and you want to see my journey with fitness and medicine and life. And as always, I appreciate you guys. You are the best subscribers on YouTube. Let's get started. Good morning team. It is uh, March 2nd, 2020, Monday morning. Let's get this bread. Here we go. And there you have it. <laughs> What's up guys, it is March 3rd, 2020. Um, me and my girlfriend are getting ready to go to the gym. We're gonna be doing some cardio today, cardio hardio. I've realized something about uh, training while on a deficit. I feel like every workout is getting that much harder. It's getting, like I'm losing that much more energy every single day because I'm actually in a real deficit this time. So I feel like my body's like craving energy and it's it's been like a mental game to try and make sure that I can still go. However, I think it's not so bad to the point where I'm afraid it's going to like impact my performance. I think, though I do know that that's gonna come later as time goes on, so at this point right now, I've just been like very, very like mentally aware that I need to be in a good mindset to, to go to the gym because because I my body's like, every time I eat carbs, I feel like my body's just like, like just absorbing it like a sponge. Like it's, it's weird, but the weight's dropping. So maybe that's just what it's like to, to lose fat. But yeah, that's just a little update guys. I might uh, have, Raylan record a little bit of my workout. I'm gonna do some boxing cardio. So it's a lot of jump ropes and a lot of punches. And uh, I'll see you guys at the gym. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, March 4th, 2019. It's my day off, so it's actually not 5 o'clock in the morning. It's about 8.30. So let's see how much I weigh. Let's see. Uh, I'm 
Wow. There you have it, guys. A new low weigh-in. <laughs> All right, so this is something I've been doing every morning. Shit. It's okay. It's something I've been doing every morning. It's a little bit of apple cider vinegar and um, water to dilute it. I have uh, heard some really good things about it. And I know that it tastes real bad. Oh God, guys, I'm already getting like the, uh, I'm like, I'm sorry, I, I look like absolute trash. I just woke up, but I can smell it and oh, like, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of the feeling I get from it. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Here, here. <clears throat> Typically I plug my nose when I drink this. I just want to say. And I can't because I'm holding the camera up. Bottoms up. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and you tr <laughs> I think I'm going to take this out of my morning routine. <laughs> Yep, 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 <clears throat> oh god, damn. So I am at my barber shop. I feel like my hair is getting a little like, I don't really know the word for it, but it's just getting like weird on the side. So I think it's about time for a haircut. So I'm gonna get in there, get out, and you guys tell me what you think. You ready? Boom, there it is the uh, barber shop so i gotta go home and clean it up a little as in uh, shower and then gel it but there it is i got a fade for the first time in my life tell me what you think okay leave a comment leave a like if you think that this is fresh just want to show you guys something real quick i've been fasting now it's 11 o'clock and look at this boom shakalaka there it is. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, March the 5th. And I wanted to talk to you guys about my weigh in this morning. So. I came in at 206 even, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, what gives, man? You weighed at 204.4 around noontime yesterday, so how did you gain a pound and a half, almost two pounds of weight in one day? And here's what I want to say about it. But before I start talking about it, I actually have to show you guys something. So let me show you guys right now. Okay, wow. Okay, guys, so let's get uh, back to the topic. So a lot of what affects weigh-ins in the morning, especially as early as I weigh in at 5 o'clock in the morning, is what I eat the night before. So if I have a late dinner or I'm finishing off my meal plan or I drink a lot of water, chances are it can throw off my weight by up to a pound and a half, maybe sometimes even two pounds, depending on what it is that I eat. I like to think that my most accurate weigh-ins are Wednesday and Sundays when I'm off. I get to sleep in a little and then really weigh myself at like nine in the morning, giving myself like a full eight to 10 hours to digest. And then I get a really good idea of where my body weight is. With that being said, I wanna show you guys a chart that I've been making with my weight and I'll show you guys just exactly how weight can actually fluctuate that rhyme. What I have here is my killer cut weight loss progress. So, so you guys can see here, every single day I've been putting in the weight and the date. The date and the weight. Again, that rhymed. 
And so, as you guys can see, let me try to zoom in on my laptop here. You're never going to just be on a decline all the time. The thing about our bodies is that it's so variable. Our bodies do so much stuff and so many things can affect it. What I have here, this yellow line, is a trend line. And this trend line is, in my opinion, a pretty good predictor, predictor of where my weight is going to end up. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And as you guys can see here, it's predicting that my weight is going to be in, I wanna assume the 170s, possibly upper 160s from now till the 1st of July. That's when I'm stopping the cut. So as long as I keep up this trend that I am doing, then the estimation is that by July, I'll be there. And I'm assuming that tomorrow when I weigh myself, it's probably gonna be around the same as 206. And then Sunday, which is the 8th, then as long as I don't mess it up on Saturday, then it should be a new low again. So just wanted to share with you guys that weight loss is not a constant thing. You know, it's gonna fluctuate. Your weight is never going to just keep on dropping unless you are really cutting. I'm keeping my deficit small. And yes, I am eating some late meals because I, I don't know, I just go to the gym and then I come home and I, I'm hungry, so I eat. And sometimes that happens to be at nine o'clock at night. And then I go to bed at 10 and wake up at five. But as you can see, it's going down. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Good morning, everybody. So I am uh, driving to my doctor's clinic. Uh, the doctor that I shadow. Well, he's a surgeon. I don't know. He's a doctor. It's the same thing. I wanted to talk about my weigh-in today. So yesterday, I 100,000% did not read my calories. I'll post my calories on the screen. The reason being was that I had two thick, I'm saying thick with like three C's, thick meals last night. One was being the steak and the hash browns before I worked out. Now that by itself, according to my fitness pal, had 80 grams of protein in it because I, I ate the whole steak. I was starving. Okay, number one, steak and hash browns. The second thick meal I ate was I had a protein shake with, um, I made it with water, and then two scoops of peanut butter protein and uh, two, two servings of oatmeal in there. So that, I drank it quick before the oats could really soak up the water. But once it was in my stomach and the oats was soaking up the water, ooh, I was done for the rest of the night. I did not eat uh, my last meal that I had planned. And I woke up losing, you know, uh, down basically almost a full pound from yesterday. So it just goes to show, guys, that just because you eat a late meal does not mean that you are going to gain weight in the morning, okay? Let me say that again. A late meal does not equal weight gain. What does equal weight gain is surpassing your calories burned throughout the day. In other words, if a, if a man who is uh, five foot 10 and uh, 206 pounds, this guy, burns roughly 2,000 600 calories in a day. Uh, let's 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 go more because I'm eating more. Let's say 2,900 calories in a day is like my my daily expenditure. Okay. If I eat 3,500 calories, I'm gaining weight, no matter how you look at it, because I've surpassed it by 600 calories, and that equals weight gain. Now, if I am at a 500 calorie deficit, which I am, and I'm eating 2,000. 500 calories, 2,400 is where I'm at, 2,400 calories, now I'm creating a 500 calorie deficit. On top of that, I'm also intermittent fasting, but I'm not, uh, I just don't eat my first meal till 11 because I don't really like breakfast. That's it, so I just 
wake up, I go, you know, have my cup of coffee. I do have creamer in that coffee, so I'm not really fasting because of the creamer. But I'll have my coffee in the morning, and I'll be fine till 11 o'clock in the morning. By 11, I'm ravenous, and I will eat anything that you put in front of me. So I have my first meal at 11, and then it really just depends on, you know, when I work out is when I'll get my last meal. Because after I work out, I'll come home, and before I shower, I'll cook and eat, and then I'll, you know, get all that other stuff out of the way. Look at this guy dead in front of me. Jesus. When I get home, I am going to be doing a back workout. I think today is deadlift. I got deadlifts on the menu. So I'm going to be deadlifting. Oh man, this guy is dead too. Okay. So I will see you guys at the gym. Jesus, I need to stop doing that. This is okay. I'll see you guys at the gym. Bye.